Well, it was a devastating injury, and it left an Alta High School football player in the hospital one week later. Tonight, as Alta took the field, the home team, Maple Mountain, wanted to show its support. New specialist Andrew Adams is live in Spanish Fork with this story. Andrew? Well, that injury, the Alta coach says, was very difficult for his team to Very grateful for the showing of support he saw here tonight. On a typical Friday night, it's rare that anyone pays attention to something other than the action on the field. But as Maple Mountain prepared to take on Alta, maybe you can talk to the officials first. There was something else that both teams wanted to address. But it hasn't been easy. It's been tough. Just last week, 17-year-old Jalen Sutton suffered a spinal cord injury during an Alta JV game. His surgery involved putting a plate in his neck and he's been on a ventilator to assist his breathing. The injury devastated the Hawks squad. We're all really pulling for him and wishing the very best for him and his family. Tonight, Maple Mountain put in extra preparation in Jalen's honor. We signed a card and gave it to Coach Teo. Our cheerleaders put a sign on the bleachers. And tonight, the Maple Mountain High School captains are presenting a signed football. Just let them know that we're supporting him. Coach Brad Burtonshaw says news of the injury cut deep. We just hope the best and for a speedy recovery for a young man that, you know, could be any of our players or any of our sons. It's hard for any team to run onto the field and win without a full roster. You really become a, a tight-knit group, a family. But on this night... And we're honored for the support that they're giving our program. Playing football also seemed to be about healing. Hopefully, with that tight-knit group, he can get the support that he needs and recover fully. Well, as far as the game ended, how it ended, uh, Alta ended up winning 28 to 19. Maple Mountain also pushed those in attendance toward Jalen Sutton's GoFundMe account. Again, we have that account linked up on our website, ksltv.com.